All right, so this is a tutorial on the basic use of the Smart Notebook version 16, even though most of this will fit with any version of Smart Notebook. First thing you should always do is just make sure that this little tab right here is open. What this does, that allows you to see your different pages. You can move pages around by just simply dragging them up and around and ordering them however you want. You can add new pages with this button here. You can also delete pages that you don't want with this button here. And you have your standard undo. You can open files, save files. This is the screen shade. This is a cool tool. This allows you to have stuff in the background and then you can slowly drag it down. This is how I do my oral quizzes. To get rid of that screen shade, you can click the X. You can also move it this way and actually just show maybe the numbers of the questions, whatever you've got behind here. You've got your standard table. Click it, decide how many rows you want or how many columns you want and also how many rows you want. Click this. Nice thing about having a table like this is you can actually um, add a cell shade in here and you can actually hide things behind here and play a matching game by hiding different objects have your students come up and click. You've got your measurement tools which is a nice little feature. you got your ruler you can rotate your ruler around. You can resize your ruler. You can flip the numbers back and forth with the screen arrow here. You've got your protractor. You've got your 360 protractor. You can rotate it around as you see fit. You can uh, click on this and resize it. You can click in the middle here. And what that does is gives you this that you can move around. And the nice thing about this is you can actually click this green arrow and create your own object that has the right angle on it, right type of angle. Another button that you have is the different views that you can use by clicking this button right here. That does allows you to go to presentation mode. You can get rid of basically your whole ribbon and now you're just up here presenting whatever you have on here. To get rid of that presentation mode you should have this floating tool somewhere and we're just going to exit full screen. Other views that you have is a transparent background. The nice thing about that is you could go straight to the back of whatever you have here and view behind it you can actually use your tools and draw all over the screen so let's say you have an online map you could draw all over it um, to go back to the program you just click this exit transparent background it will take you back other views that you have is the dual display. The advantage of this is you can actually have two students working on two different things if you're letting your students touch your board. But the other thing that's really neat is you can have your story right along here and your students are reading the story and then right over here is a bunch of questions that they could be answering about it. The other views that you have is you can go back to your single page display, which is your standard, and then you can also zoom in and out. Uh, the Smart Response 2 is fantastic in Smart Notebook version 16. I will do a whole separate presentation on that, as well as the Smart Lab, which is kind of neat. For you math teachers, you may like this uh, math button right here. That'll pull up this where you can actually do different graphs and line graphs. It's really cool. You can click this button and actually have a table that you can have your students fill out um, with XY coordinates. You can use your 
um, irregular polygons by clicking anywhere you want and then you can also type equations up for those who use equation editors the other thing it's got is this add-on section which is pretty cool you can actually um, align your object for those who struggle with objects being out of line for me it doesn't really matter to me but you can use these to line your objects left right for those who have used GeoGebra in the past you click this and it will insert a pretty cool widget okay where basically you get your Cartesian graph and you can draw lines points and it will come over here and um, put the coordinates for those points you can draw different lines um, it's just a pretty neat tool that smart notebook has added your arrow tool which allows you to select objects you've got your pins which there's a lot of different pins once you click your pen button it opens up this whole section you've got your bunch of different pens that you can use the text pen is really neat um, as you get your text pen and you are using it on your smart board you can actually write and then it will put it in text for you and if you're okay click the green button or let it go and it'll just add text by itself the nice thing is once you get your text you can resize it you can start manipulating that text another sweet tool that smart notebook has is the um, shape recognition tool it dazzles your students by drawing perfect circles perfect triangles sort of perfect triangles um, ovals and even squares or in that case a rectangle um, another t pen that it's got that's kinda cool is the magic pen I've created a whole new bit a whole video based on the magic pen so you could click the following video and actually be able to see how to use the magic pen in the classroom here you've got your pen open you can actually select the different types of pens that you want you can change the colors you can manipulate the colors by clicking on the color palette you can what's really neat is you can actually add thickness to your lines um, you can give it a start what you want it starts and what you want it to end with so a line like that is kinda nice especially if you're drawing all over maps and stuff you can also change the transparency of your pen so that when you're drawing over another line or a map or an image you can actually see right behind the image so this is pretty neat. Another place to get your line style is right over here on the left side. You can click this and as you are working on a page you can actually keep this open and change it fairly quickly um, just by having that line style and fill effect open. You can also enable ink fade out where you could draw on it and it will actually fade out and then six seconds later it'll disappear or you can actually change that to whatever time you want but kind of a cool feature that it's got other things that you've got in smart notebook is your shapes okay you got your circle shapes your squares triangles um, stars hearts it's got a ton of things you can put on here you got check marks um, by clicking this down arrow so there's just a ton of things that you can do with it you can change the color of these tools okay by just selecting your color palette for this video is for you vertically challenged teachers or if you have small students young students who can't reach your smart board you've got this button right here where you can click and that'll actually bring your tool down to the bottom it's kind of neat so you can change that back and forth also if you're left-handed versus right-handed 
you've got that same arrow here and that way you could always have this toolbar on the side that you prefer it on which is a really really neat feature and the last thing I want to show you is that you can actually click this uh, button here and this is your activity your pictures your whatever and I'll do a whole section or a bunch of sections on some of these different ones but this is worth exploring okay you got math you got science you got a ton of cool stuff the lesson activity toolkits and the examples are fantastic also from within here you can go to your smart exchange which I'll do a whole tutorial on but this is fantastic that you can come in here and actually see what type of presentations other teachers have come up with and you can download those free of charge it's pretty sweet anyways for this video I will be adding some more so please subscribe to the educational technology channel thank you